Hello folks, I am Marvel Master and welcome to the second video about creating a waterline in Unreal Engine 4. In this video I will show how to create uh, this waterline with waves and displacement. But before we start I have to say this kind of waterline has limitations. Which means that uh, this will only work with slight displacement and only small waves as you can see here. That's why I decided to make a third video where I create a complex waterline setup. Um, this will follow all displacement um, of any big waves you can imagine. Also, before I start, I highly recommend uh, watching the first uh, video tutorial about creating water lines because uh, I will use some material function and materials that I created in the first video here. So here we are again. This is where the last video has ended. I just made some adjustments to my level that the underwater visibility is a little bit better. So let's jump right in making a waterline with displacement. Let's begin by right clicking the content browser, go to materials and textures and select material function. This will create a new material function. I call it displacement material function and open it up. The arrow can be ignored. Here we will create our displacement, our global displacement uh, for all our materials I we create in future. So what do we need? We need right click time and right click an input, function input. Then we also need right click and noise. And uh, yes, that's basically it. Now we can connect these in the right manner. From the input, we drag a line and type add. B input of the add goes uh, multiply. And this multiply goes into one time, and the b goes to a constant, constant, which will be basically our speed, the speed of the noise moving. As you can see, it's uh, a noise texture basically, and this will be the pl displacement of our water. Now the position will be connected to the add, and from the noise we Back out the line and type multiply. The B input of the multiply will be connected to the vertex normal WS. Then the multiply will be mask. I type in component mask. And on the left, we select RNG and just select B. Connect the component mask to the output result. Now click on the mask. And we have to set some settings here. At first the scale will be 0.05 Then for function I this time use gradient texture base Turbulence needs to be deactivated Then for levels I go for 2 And uh, this is basically it for the displace displacement material function So hit apply and close the material function Now let's go on by creating a new folder for our advanced waterline. So right click in the content browser and show new folder. I call it advanced waterline. Then I select the materials I created in the last tutorial, in the first tutorial and the blueprint. Drag it into that new folder and choose copy here. Now inside of that folder I rename these materials to advanced now we are ready to go on so first let's open up the blueprint and uh, since our mesh will be displaced we need a model with a higher density this means we need a plane with more vertices like this one um, if you don't know how to create such a plane, I have already um, uploaded this model to this Google Drive 2, so you can download it there too. And then from there, 
I right click here and import that water plane model and just hit import. Here we are, we have a second water plane model which we can now in the advanced waterline blueprint replace to the static mesh here. So waterline plane mesh. Now I have a mesh. Okay, it's a little bit bigger here, but that's no problem. We can adjust the box size to 100, 100. And now we are good to go again here. Hit compile and close the blue. Now let's go on by clicking on our blueprint that's in world and delete it and replace it with the blueprint that is uh, the newly created, the advanced waterline blueprint. Let's scale it up to like say 30, 30. Again, a height of 190 like in the first video tutorial. Now we can go on adjusting the material of this water. You can either create a new water material or use the water material of the, of the first uh, tutorial. So here we have what material are we using? A water material, okay, I double click on it. And here we have to uh, do some adjustment now. Since this water plane needs to have a displacement, I click on the material and go down to tessellation. And here for tessellation, I choose flat tessellation. Graphy displacement must not be uh, checked, but adaptive tessellation should be unchecked. Otherwise, you would have uh, problems. If you Okay, so now we right click and call our material function that we newly created, the displacement function. From the displacement we take a drag out the line and type world position. And the result of the displacement material function directly goes into world displacement. And from tessellation multiplier I drag out the line and type constant. This will be basically how hard the tessellation will be, or how dense. In this case, I just choose a value of 60. Hit apply, and the water material is basically ready to go. Now I can close the water material and go on by the underwater, advanced underwater split material. Let's open it up. Here we are now in the advanced underwater split process material. Let's delete the if node and the mask b. And let's go on by right click and call material function again and left choose displacement material function. The result of the get clip plane gets connected to the displacement material function. From here we rack out the line and type add. And the add will also be connected to the constant which is our uh, z value of our water in level. Then from the add drag out the line and type subtract, subtract. And this goes, the B of the subtract goes into a component mask again. On the left again uncheck R and G and just check B. And the B input also goes into get clip play material. So all this will be flawed. Oh sorry again, all this will be clamped, then from the clamp it goes out the line to a floor and then right click uh, somewhere and type um, near interpolate, connect the alpha to the floor. And now we go and grab D3 here and these are basically what's happening underwater. So this goes into the B of the lerp and the scene texture post process input 0, basically just what's above the water, so it plugs into the A of the lerp, connected to the emissive output. And we have a missing input, okay, component mask did not connect to the clip pane, so I can easily adjust it. 
So hit apply and uh, this is ready to go. Now then do the other materials here. The waterline post process, advanced waterline post process. Here we just have to do very slight adjustments. So right click somewhere and type call material function and choose again the displacement material function. And this will be plugged in to the get clip plane too. And this time from the displacement material function drag out the line and type add. The B of the add goes to the other add on the top. And the output of the add goes to the A input of the subtract on the top. Then click on the displacement material function and control C, copy it. And go down here and control V, paste it. And again here the input of the displacement material function goes to the get clip plane material function. And the result goes into an add node. This add node, the B of the add node goes into the left subtract. And the output of the add node goes into the right subtract. So this is basically it. We can close it and now we can go on with the Trans waterline blur post process material. Here we have to do just the same. Click somewhere, call material function on the left, select displacement material function. Input goes to the result of the gas clip plane, the output add node. B of the add goes into the left add and the result goes into B of the subtract. Then copy the displacement again by Ctrl C, Ctrl V to paste it here. Again the input goes into the get clip play material function and the output goes into an add. And B of the add connected to the left subtract and the output of the add connected to the A of the right subtract. Okay. So this is basically finished. You can hit apply and close this. Now we just have to go into the advanced waterline blueprint and select post process on the left and on the top right search for material. Then we have to replace the waterline blur with advanced waterline blur. A second with advanced waterline split. Oh, I see I have misspelled it here. Okay, no problem. And the third with advanced waterline post process material. Now hit compile and close this. And now when I hit play, you can see that there is a kind of waterline, but somehow it's offset. And this is because in the underwater post process split, the basic underwater post process material, we have our water level. And for some reason, this one must be always plus one. So when my water is at a location or at the Z location at of 190, this needs to be at 191. So when I hit apply now and then play, see I have a waterline with displacement. Now another arrow that appears here, you can see here and there some clipping of um, the water mesh. This is because the water I'm using here, or well, the water plane, is not dense enough. I can uh, work around this by decreasing the size of the water mesh by 220, and then the mesh is dense enough that it can follow uh, the calculated water line. I will also upload a water plane that has even more vertices, so you can use bigger planes. Or in my um, example project, um, I have made a setup where you can use that plane on even infinite uh, um, size of uh, water. Okay, now that's it for the second tutorial. Uh, I thank you very much for watching and um, take a look at the third video tutorial too.
because this tutorial will be uh, about creating a complex waterline and this waterline will follow every displacement that the water will do. This means fast displacement and big displacement will be covered by this. Also special thanks again to my patrons uh, who are supporting this channel and make it possible for me to release all my projects free. And all I have to say now um, again is thank you for watching, leave a like if you, if you like this video and consider subscribing and uh, see you in the next video.